I hope you hear me now. So yeah, yeah, that's great. Now you hear you. Thank now you. you're live on virtual. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sounds good. So um, should I start or? Yeah. So you may. okay, mm -hmm. sounds great. So welcome to everyone who is listening now live from Germany, Hamburg, from the Stolz headquarter. My topic today is how modular and micro data center can facilitate the edge. So we will talk a little bit about the edge, the micro data centers um, and 5G. Um, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is again, Victor Miller. I am the area sales manager in Stolz GmbH Germany in Hamburg, the headquarter. I'm working here since 2007. Um, I'm speaking three languages, so feel free to contact me on the stand. Uh, and if not, please also feel free to contact me via email. So um, yeah, let's go on with the agenda for the next 20 minutes. And um, I will introduce Stultz. So if you're not aware of Stultz, who is Stultz? Is it a global player? Uh, is it the right choice or not? I will introduce it a little bit because we have not the whole day. So then I will go on with our activities worldwide, our partners, then the main topic, modular micro DC for Edge and 5G. And I got one case study, uh, I plan two, but I think it will be too much. And please stay tuned. I have, uh, or we announced, um, last year application i will show it to you so um yeah let's go on with the first one um who is stools so stools is since 70 years family owned it and have already more than 40 years um and is very successful in air conditioning business for data centers and mission critical application so everywhere where the cooling is needed the whole year, every second, every minute, every hour. And um, yeah, we are well known and appreciated worldwide from small data centers up to multinational cooperation. And as a result, uh, out of our experience and pioneer role, we are an important player in our business field. So um, yeah, our company has a worldwide presence with 10 production sites. 22 subsidiaries and over 130 partners. And um, so our motto is from global to local. I would like also later mention why it's necessary to go on with the local partner, not true Germany or Hamburg. Yeah, we'll mention, mention it later. So, um, and our customer, customer and you are expecting the highest quality standards and it's the right choice. So, and to be honest, so everyone can manufacture a, a air conditioning system, um, but the hint, so, but to use and to control the right components and to put the oven height standards of quality, I think, uh, and I know it, uh, this is the know-how and uh, experience of Stolz. And yeah, so that offers to you the security so from the development to production to selection of the right components uh, and quality control and service these are the factors what are demanding and we provide so um, uh, you benefit from it i know that i believe that and so you can invest your time uh, to other important projects new projects new plannings without headaches of cooling so um, we are offering the whole range of cooling from one source. That's why maybe you already seen, we call it one stools, one source. So you can get from crack units, so computer room air conditioning to cry units, chillers, shelter cooling or humidifications. And of course, air handling units. And we got also DCIM softwares to control the whole data center and to get the bad, uh, the, not the bad, the best efficiency of the whole data center and to get the best overview of it. So, and today we will mainly talk about the system integration of micro DC and shelter cooling. 
and container cooling. So, and first of all, I would like to mention our activities worldwide. I would like to, to ask you to join our website, stolz.com, put your location, sorry for that, um, your location, your country, and you will see the responsible partner or the subsidiary. Feel free to contact them if you have any project, any, answer, uh, any questions. And if you don't find it, please feel free also to contact me and we will get as soon as possible in contact. Yeah, I would like also to mention soft from distribution and thanks for this kind of uh, opportunity of, uh, um, of fairs and, um, and soft from distribution is our official distributor in Ukraine and Azerbaijan and Georgia for cooling. And of course, they provide different kinds of IT solutions and services, very well known. I would like also to mention Nikhil Nomenko. Uh, please feel free to contact him. He's also on the stand. Um, he's responsible for the UPS and the precision cooling solutions from Stolz. He speaks well three languages, maybe or more. <laughs> and yeah, feel free to contact on the stand or directly with email or phone. So let's go on for the main topic. So modular and micro DC for the edge and 5G. So why is this relevant? As you know, I think you can also see the trend for the speed, for the mobility, flexibility of every kind of IT. So um, the analytics, the clouds, everything is growing. And this growing also um, have to do something with the data points or to collect data. And this is of course, huge power and huge amount of data. And of course we can see it uh, the best, I think, um, what we see is the mobile devices. They are getting more and more IT devices than just a mobile cell phone to call someone. Um, and we got already 8.3, as I know, billions of mobile phones. And it's really unbelievable. They are collecting lots of data. And this has to be secured or to compute, to calculate and so on. And um, also the industry, for example, the 4.0, it calls 4.0 uh, or the internet of things like a smart home and so on. Uh, but they are, maybe you agree with me, uh, not really started. I got the picture on the right top, this one, I hope you see that. So the yellow, the green and the blue one, these are um, counters with, which are started with 5G, but maybe not so far. And the gray ones are not started yet. So this bring us for the future, for the next years, uh, lots of opportunities for the market. So my recommendation, be prepared. And yeah, these factors are driving factors which demands the edge and 5G. So coming back, what is edge? So um, the word edge is this context means literal geographical distribution. Um, edge computing is computing what is done at or near to the source of data, instead of relying on cloud at one of those data centers, which is doing all the work. For example, I got it here, the left corner. So this is, let me say the normal current way to proceed with all the applications, with the data, uh, with the smartphones. So everything is to connect, goes through the network here. And from the network to the cloud and the cloud or the data center, as you know, maybe they're mostly far away from the city, somewhere in an environment which is quite safe. And yeah, with the edge, we are bringing, uh, we are bringing the, the most usable, let me say the most usable data and applications near to the user. So, like here to see we are putting from the cloud from the cloud some applications some data 
to the edge. So this brings, uh, or it doesn't mean that the cloud will disappear. It means only that the cloud is coming closer to you. So what is the benefit? The benefit will be that the latency or the, the responsible time who is, uh, which brings the, the answer back uh, from the data will be faster, much faster. Also an example for evolution of for co-location and edge. So the red ring is the user uh, who suffer under brand with uh, uses a long latency. So in the center, they have the centralized computer systems and the way of communication are quite long. So response time, the latency is quite long. So, and we got now, if I see the smart TVs now, they got already 8K quality. It means big of data or lots of gaming computing, which are everything is um, recorded. Also, this uh, webinars are recorded. There are lots of data. And if you are requesting this sometimes from the data center or from the cloud, it takes a while. And with the edge, it's bring near to you. So we are putting it between the data centers or the clouds and the user. And yeah, I would like also to mention that the operation costs here, also a point that it will be lower. Why? So we have not to go again through to the cloud or the data center. We are going now only to the blue ring this of course is a lower capex it's better for you so you can um, save money or invest to the new technology new opportunities so um in the past we know that 3g to 4g was just about telephony it was also a wow for for everyone so it proved the speed better internet connection and now the let me say the new maybe it's, it's already years ago it start but not in every country the 5g the fifth generation and the fifth generation is 25 times faster than 4g and this brings us with many many new possibilities like the internet of things like, like the industry 4.0 the self-driving cars and so on. So this is a big, big opportunity for the connection. So, um, so the IoT, the Internet of Things is waiting for arrival of 5G and it's about to change the landscape and the Internet of Things trend will drastically increase uh, this is what we seen in 2019. So we had lots of uh, data centers, the clouds and the edge um, were seldom or real. And for the future, we are seeing drastically increase of it. So we will have more edge than data centers, but of course the data center will never disappear. So, um, so tools and true edge the opportunity edge. So the edge can have different faces like the micro data center. We can see it on the top. Um, then we have small sites for certain application or process. For example, the modular data centers and the bigger sites with regional data centers for big applications in a small town, for example. And I will show you, for example, this one, this is the compact data center family, like nano micro, DC, the left one, and modular, why it's modular. So you can put at first only one rack inside one rack, and then you will see, oh, my company is growing, my da data is growing. So you can um, put more than 
one unit inside, not unit, the servers. And yeah. Also, you will see inside the cooling. So no data center is without cooling. That's why it, inside you will see the raw cooling, for example, Stolz, Cybero, it calls Cybero. And you can equip this kind of um, micro or nano, nano DCs with everything, with U UPS, PDUs, batteries, fire suppression systems, where many things. So feel free to contact us to let us know what kind of project do you got or what is needed or requested, required, and we will provide it to you. And um, we got, we can, if you say, uh, please provide me in UPS, don't matter which one, we will provide to you. But if you have a favorite one, you tell us the name and we can also provide it to you. This one, for example, the micro can, for example, or the uh, nano can uh, use for offices application. They can be installed standalone without building in a data room at all. Um, you can get the outdoor version with IP66, for example. And I would like also to mention that everything is not just like uh, we got tens on stock and here you got it. We can provide customized everything you need, everything you wish, everything is required. Feel free. Um, so don't forget the cooling. For example, uh, here's um, what we delivered for container cooling, like uh, for edge uh, on the left, on the right, the cooling units um, depends, of course, on the heat load inside. We can provide also only two of them or only three. So, um, or for here example, four pieces, three are working, working and one is standby, for example. And then they're rotating for the security for best cooling. And I would like to mention also the free cooling or to, to, to use the free cooling. And yeah, also you have seen it's outside from the container. We can provide as well as inside the container for the also security. So we get lots of customers who saying, no, maybe there's vandalism, please put it inside up to you. We can do it. And also we have different kinds of units, for example, with our telecom line product family, we can squeeze out the best efficiency and this is really important. So don't forget you, you um, saves money. You save money uh, with the best efficiency. Here also, for example, what we already provide for cooling from the outside, outside. So uh, depends on you, depends on the request, on the project. And I would like also to show you our core business from raw systems inside the room or to crack units, computer, uh, computer room air conditioning units. So it can be complete special or customized solution. And yeah, it's all about the money as we know. Uh, we, or you, we can offer it to you the indirect dynamic free cooling. What does it mean? Uh, do I need it? Yes, we recommend, for example, you can save up to or more 60% energy and energy equals costs, money. Uh, here, for example, we are using dry coolers. It can be two, three or one, depends on you, on the, also on the heat load, uh, cooling capacity. Here, for example, we got two units, two pumps, and two dry cooler. And how does it work? I will show you it on the nice slide. For example, we got a room um, heat load of 100%. Let me adjust the room air temperature. 
And I also recommend you to put the uh, room temperature as best as possible, not as low as possible. I will put it to 25 and I will put the outside temperature high, for example, summer. So now we will see that, uh, that the um, dry cooler, the units are running. Now, as we got the outside temperature really, really high, the compressor must cool the room. So we got the compressors on, the evaporator is working. We have lots of energy consumption. As lower the temperature is, is as better. So we can use, for example, then go to the mix. So we got the second heat exchanger inside. We are using the outside uh, temperature through the dry cooler to save money. So we are using now mix mode, both heat exchanger, the evaporator and the water glyco mixture. And as lower the temperature is, as less the energy consumption, like here, it's a uh, free cooling. So only the heat exchanger is running, no compressor and compressor consumes uh, lots of energy. So feel free to contact us if you have any requests. We can also offer um, air handling units. They're located in the, for example, in the technical room. So the technical people have or don't need the access to the, to the room, to the server room for security. Lots of um, trends are showing to us. It's really came in or necessary. And it's the latest trend now with the air handling units. And yeah, let's go to the case studies. I think this is really a good study. Uh, for example, the famous Formula One racing, uh, just like need of an edge data center at the track, track race, the latency of uh, lower than 30 milliseconds anywhere in the world. And so that one terabyte or more data transmi uh, transmitted per race. It's a huge data. So um, the problem was also the, the dirt, the dirt of the brakes, of the rubber tires and so on. So also the temperature, sometimes it was too hot. The humidity was not the best. Um, so in the past, the client, the client was changing his IT hardware every two races. Uh, unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. And um, it was approximately 1.4 million euros. And um, we are starting for looking for, for a new design, new approach. Um, and we got there, we are offered him uh, them uh, the micro DC for the track and we delivered uh, 12 pieces uh, with air cooling inside. And now we are standing out at the race. So we are not moving from race to race. We are standing at the race and can every time be used. They are totally sealed. Again, the rough environment, best security. So this is only an example picture. Um, uh, yeah, so fast. And last but not least, I would like to show you the application of Stolz. Please feel free, it's for free. It's available on Microsoft Store, Google Play, App Store. Download it and you will see you can, um, what, oh, what can you do with it? You are able to, to take a look to the room cooling. You will see brochures with data. You will see animations, uh, some videos. Uh, and everything, room cooling, chillers, um, high density, chip cooling is also available. Um, so feel free. Oh, I received something. I will put it away. So feel free to download it. Uh, I would like to say thank you for listening. Please visit us at our stand. 
um, feel free to contact me or Michael, Michael. Uh, we are on the stand four in the IT infrastructure and video security. I wish you the best. Stay healthy. Goodbye. Victor, your thoughts. Thank you very much for your attending our live stream and uh, this information, especially uh, for uh, message for all that every, every uh, we need, every we want, uh, we might take it. Thank you. Thank you very and much. Uh, save thinking. money, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, okay. very good for all. Thank you for attend and um, yeah, have a good day and thank you very much. Health. Thank you. Thank you.